And as for me, I learned the power of Felice. Hi, I'm Brenda and welcome to Act Two Stories where we hope to inspire you to find a new passion, a new purpose, or try something new, especially if you're 50 plus. If this sounds good to you, don't forget to subscribe, lower right red button. Over the past couple of years of Act Two Stories, we've got some great folks who have tried something new. But then what happened? We're gonna have an update day today and find out. Also, we recently asked the question, what did 2020 teach you? We're gonna have some of those responses coming up, but first, okay. remember Priscilla Hill, dog foster mom? Well, she's still at it. Here is one of her current charges. This is Lily Beth, and these are Lily Beth's puppies. Priscilla thinks that all have a forever home waiting for them. Mountain Pet Rescue in Asheville, the organization that Priscilla fosters for, has had a great year. They rescued 1,353 animals, think about that now, 900 cats and 453 dogs found their forever homes. One word I'm hearing a lot of lately is pivot. Well, here's a pivot story for you. Over Christmas, this arrived in the mail, beautifully packaged, and inside, this gorgeous thing of beauty, and it's from Cakes by Kim Bibb, a cake connoisseur. It was a walnut rum bundt cake. You may remember Kim, she was our lovely model in 2019 when we got terrific style tips from Serene at Anthropology and South Point Mall in Durham. At the time, Kim was an event planner, but thanks to 2020, she pivoted yeah, yeah. and yeah, launched her busy. cake business, creating it all kinds of fabulous cakes. And when I say fabulous, here's what was left in just 24 hours. This was one incredible cake, the most delicious cake I've ever had, and I do not say that lightly. It was amazing. Here's how to get in touch with Kim, and yes, she ships. You can also find her on Instagram. Finally, we recently asked a question, what did 2020 teach you? We, Terry says in 2020, she learned the power of the word. Just knowing someone is thinking of you during a quarantine is wonderful for your mental health, she says. So she encourages all of us to share your words and thoughts with others. 2020 taught Judy that she has an addiction to the internet, Facebook, email, and text. I think I do too. She wants to do something about that in 2021. So if anybody knows of an expert who can help all of us <laughs> back off a bit, let me know. Karen writes that she learned that she enjoyed musical events online and watching online Sunday services from a church that she and her family belonged to in the 1960s. Sue learned to develop more patience. Jolene relearned macrame. Tony says 2020 taught her to be strong and survive almost anything that may come her way. And this from Betsy, 2020 taught me that I can do my job without makeup. Yes! And as for me, I learned the power of Felice. Powerful, makes you feel a lot better. So there you have it. We'll have more coming up in other, another Act Two story. Coming up, a story just in time for Valentine's Day, The Power of Love. It's about a man who created a nonprofit called One Love Tennis. But it's not just all about tennis. It's all about paying it forward. You'll love this story. Thanks so much for joining us. Onward. See you next time.